Hi right, guys, welcome back. Right now we're uh, going to pick up Monica after her surgery. So the next shot should be of Monica. Take the next yeah. So that crate we have downstairs, I'll yeah. just put it back in my room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and just keep her in that at all times, um, other than for like bathroom purposes or if you guys are just sitting hanging out. She's a low um, squatter. Will that like kind of affect like the stitches? No, it shouldn't. Right. Um, so you can take her out as often as she needs to to eliminate. Just have her on a leash. I just don't have her on the park. Don't take her to the park yet. Yeah, no, no running around or anything like that. So whenever you take her in and out for bathroom purposes, have her on a leash so she doesn't go running off chasing her squirrel or anything. No, she, um, she ain't fast enough to catch her. What do you think? Oh my god, look at you! Look at you! Your nose is so much bigger now. Nice and open. Oh my oh, she's god. She's excited to see us. Yeah. yeah oh my god. Come on, Marcus! Marcus! Ah, oh, you're coming home! <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Mon. Come on. Hey, I got you, Mon. Uh, Once uh, she stops being so stubborn. Look who we got! Look who we got! Miss Kona Shame! Miss Kona Shame! All right, Mon. You're still beautiful. You're still beautiful. Monica did great in her uh, surgery. She's breathing a lot better once uh, the swelling goes down on her nose. She's gonna be good to go. It'll be about uh, two weeks, 14 days. Then we're gonna come back here, get the A-OK -okay that she can do Frenchy things and have some Frenchy fun. Oh, Monica. Everyone wished you so so many get well things. We gotta make a thank you video for them. For you do. That helps, of course. But, oh my god. Look at that face. That's... That's why we do what we do. It's all about the kibble. All about the kibble. <laughs> One full day. Monica, how you feeling? How you feeling, homegirl? One full day. Look at those nostrils. They're big now. <laughs> That's good, though. Hopefully you can breathe a lot easier, homegirl. Yeah, so, uh... Over the next couple days, and, uh, week... Two weeks, 14, well, excluding yesterday, 13 more days of uh, just recovery. So, um, I'm gonna be keep, keeping an eye on Monica and um, come up with some fun skits for you guys and everything. And um, we're gonna have fun. I feel real bad. I did have an interview yesterday, but yesterday was so hectic for me. So, I'm really sorry, real talk recovery. You guys should check her out though. I'm gonna leave her link down below. Um, I don't know if you guys ever have any problems with addictions or anything, any kind of addiction, that's the thing. For me, I was gonna talk about when I used to be a really bad alcoholic when I was 22 all the way to 24. I'm 28 now, that's why I have my rules. I have a two beer limit. Now I was gonna talk to her about that, but uh, there are so many, many inspirational stories out there, and it's crazy. You know, it's uh, kind of like the video I did. You're not alone. You're not. There's other people, other people that go through the same thing. Sometimes even worse. Sometimes even better. But like the thing is, you are not alone. And uh, Nicole from Real Talk Recovery. Like I said, I'm gonna leave her links down below. Check out some of the interviews, you know. Um, you could definitely learn a thing or two about them. And maybe even relate. And that's a nice thing, too, you know. And a conversation. Because, you know, here at Combo Fellow, we're all about the conversation. With who? Me, a felon. You know, uh, most of these people hopefully don't have felonies. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I was going to put this out. I uh, had some footage earlier from Monica. So you're going to see that, and yeah, just a quick little thing, and uh, again, please check out Real Talk Recovery, 
she uh, Nicole there she's really awesome and uh, hopefully I get to do that interview soon and you guys would all see it <laughs> but yeah um, I'm gonna try to like keep on making videos throughout the day uh, it's not gonna be the kibble grind stuff cuz uh, I gotta stay home and take care of our, our baby girl I'm not I don't say my baby girl I say ours because uh, we are a family here and Thank you guys so much for all the get well wishes. Like, you guys have no idea how much that really, really means to me. You know, like, I don't have all planning kids. Like, I would like to one day, but realistically, let's be honest. So, Monica, she's she's my child. You know, she's, she's my baby girl. I love her. I love her to death. So, um, yeah, so... I'm going to try to bust out videos every day, like I normally do, but if I miss a day, it's because I'm taking care of our baby girl, our baby girl, so, um, yeah, I'm going to just keep this one quick, again, real talk, recovery, check out Nicole, her channel is amazing, and again, Nicole, if you're seeing this, oh, I'm so, so sorry, just, Essex was a little bit hectic for this guy, getting, uh, a little Frenchie belt back and making sure she's all good. Got a huge list of like medicines and stuff I gotta give her and time. So, I know we have a time difference, Nicole, you and I, but uh, hey, we'll make that work. And again, I'm so sorry. Just um, the day prior, I knew she was gonna go to the vet, but I didn't know we were gonna get set up surgery or anything. So it's kind of like, okay. Time to put on the big boy pants on and bust out that kibble. <laughs> so, yeah, just a quick little update, guys. And, again, thank you guys so much for all the lovely comments. I read them to Monica. Monica was just... <laughs> oh, really? For me? For me? And it's like, yeah, it's all for you, baby girl. You know, everyone loves you. We're very, very fortunate to have you in our lives, Monica. All right, now I'm rambling, so... Again, sorry guys for uh, no video yesterday. Sorry, Nicole, I wasn't able to make it yesterday. I will make it up to you one way or another. I promise that on a phone's word. But, uh, yeah, other than that, um, thank you guys, and I love you. <laughs>